Kamala Harris. It's up, good to be. Nice to see you. Have fun. Thank you. Welcome to you both. It's wonderful to have you. It's an honor to have you both here tonight. I imagine and have actually a plan to build what I call an opportunity economy. Because here's the thing. We know that we have a, a shortage of, of homes and housing. And the cost of housing is too expensive for far too many people. I had no inflation, virtually no inflation. They had the highest inflation, perhaps, in the history of our country, because I've never seen a worse period of time. People can't go out and buy cereal or bacon or eggs or anything else. These, the people of our country are absolutely dying with what they've done. And I'm going to actually do something really unusual, and I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies, because it's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. So she can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most incredible rallies in the history of politics. That's because people want to take their country back. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the... the people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people on I'm television are saying the their dog was eaten by the people that went there. Again, the Springfield city manager says there's no evidence of that. For 52 years, they've been trying to get Roe v. Wade into the states. And through the uh, genius and, and heart and strength of six Supreme Court justices, we were able to do that. When Congress passes a bill to put back in place the protections of Roe v. Wade as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. They have abortion in the ninth month. They even have, and you can look at the governor of West Virginia, the previous governor of West Virginia, not the current governor, is doing an excellent job, but the governor before, he said the baby will be born and we will decide what to do with the baby. In other words, we'll execute the baby. That bill would have put more resources to allow us to prosecute transnational criminal organizations for trafficking in guns, drugs, and human beings. But you know what happened to that bill? Donald Trump got on the phone, called up some folks in Congress, and said, kill the bill. And you know why? Because he'd prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. They allowed terrorists. They allowed common street criminals. They allowed people to come in, drug dealers, to come into our country. And they're now in the United States and told by their countries, like Venezuela, don't ever come back or we're going to kill you. I think this is so rich, <laughs> coming from someone who has been prosecuted yeah. for national security crimes, economic crimes, election interference, has been found liable for sexual assault, and his next big court appearance is in November at his own criminal sentencing. What we know is that this war must end. It must when end immediately, and the way it will end is we need a ceasefire deal and we need the hostages out. And so we will continue to work around the clock on that. She hates Israel. She wouldn't even meet with Netanyahu when he went to Congress to make a very important speech. She refused to be there because she was at a sorority party of hers. She wanted to go to the sorority party. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. Are you now acknowledging that you lost in 2020? No, I don't acknowledge that at all. But I you said did that say sarcastically. That. You but know that. It was said, oh, we lost by a whisker. That was said sarcastically. Donald Trump was fired by 81 million people. So let's be clear about that. And clearly he is having a very difficult time processing that. Stay up to date with this story and more. Subscribe to our Watch Fox YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to never miss an update.